a presentation of TFNN. The Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, John Logan. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Glad you're with us this morning. Broadcasting from the Philippines. Hope you guys are having a good morning there in the States. And you know, I read something today. Uh, I, was, I started laughing actually. U.S. Treasuries are set for their largest monthly loss since June 2015. Blah, 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 blah. Well, that's because they've never been down. Ever. Seemingly. Just been in a full-blown march forward and uh, this is coming off really pretty much recent or all-time highs however you want to look at it so you know i'm looking at the 10-year right now showing it in the den and if you can uh see what i'm showing yeah i mean this is the last month and uh this is the uh, massive downtick in treasuries that they are speaking about i guess so um not that big of a deal, and only 34% chance of a rate hike. Uh, I actually think they they might follow through with it this time, so I'm not exactly that peachy keen about going long treasuries right now. It's kind of kind of a toss-up. You guys know that big report on Friday is going to have some oomph when it comes to what they're going to decide to do. But again, you know, if uh, the... Uh, you know, like, let's just say the country of Zimbabwe um, has a downtick in economic forecast, and that may freak them out enough to say, oh, God, we need to wait. You never know. So, again, looking at the <coughs> technicals of the 10-year, um, we have kind of crossed the border. We come back and, you know, that form of support now resistance on that 132 general neighborhood. Same story. I don't think there's a trade happening at all until this report. So, you know. We're going to try to figure out what can be traded right now. I think the treasuries and the S&Ps are just going to be, I, I, you know, stuck in the mud until Friday morning. You guys may have some differences of opinion on that, and there may be some opportunities on it that you see that I don't see. But, again, you know, it's kind of a, kind of a no-leverage, uh, low-probability situation. We're really not near any inflection points on the S&Ps right now. Um, we've talked about it compressing up and we're going to the s and p's right now compressing up hold on it's compressing up into these unfair highs on the daily 2183.50 and uh you know it might be might bode well for everyone to just kind of wait and trade the reaction of that report let things settle down let's figure out where the the big money wants to take it after the report and then just kind of ride the wave i mean that's generally you know, a good MO when it comes to changing events that may be happening based on, you know, that report number. Let's take a look at gold. And we'll hit the 30-year, uh, too. Um, gold, you know, uh, we've been kind of pounding the desk about this. There's no, not really a trade right now. I mean, the... We're kind of in uh, no man's land here on the daily on gold. And then we crossed that border, 1331, that uh, POC on the weekly on gold, and then kind of retested it this week. And uh, now we're kind of just kind of drifting down. 1295, again, that's going to be where, you, in my opinion, you can pick a bottle. I'm always concerned about going short gold. Uh, but if we do kind of trail into that number, that's where I'm looking to pick a bottle on gold from the long side let's let this thing kind of do what it's going to do in no man's land here but again you always talk about wait, waiting for the market to come to us we're going to take a look at silver um, still kind of hanging in there with gold drifting off and i think somebody yesterday was talking about you know this area right now is kind of being defended i like silver here 
And we're going to look at uh, natural gas. We talked yesterday a little bit about this being above these unfair highs. And, of course, immediately it sold off. This is what stops are for. And um, as we look at this October contract, if we can get it to come up here. You know, this, this may be still in the noise area for you, but this is a little bit too rich for my blood coming down south of that area. But, again, you know, I, I'm going to, you know, we're talking about this. This is a trade that we were kind of spinning around above these 282.889 uh, points of the weekly unfair highest. But, you know, we, we try to cut our losses short and let our profits ride. That's really easy to say. Um, the crude oil trade. Again, you know, we we talked about this kind of drifting lower, where you could possibly pick this up a little bit lower, forty four eighty five. The dollar, you know, is continuing to move north. We've talked about that one. Um, that's going to affect commodity prices, you know, just by default, repricing theirself in stronger dollars. So here's that forty four eighty five on crude. Um, and again, this is a trade kind of down from forty eight oh six. At you know, decent little risk reward on that one. Um, the bean trade we talked about, talked about staying away from the long side on this one. Thank goodness we did talk about that because we just busted busted a move, I guess, down below 964, 965. Uh, again, talked about, you know, that was, I can't believe it happened this quickly. I thought we'd just kind of like hover around there for a little bit longer. But uh, I, think, I think somebody was asking about 850. Remember, 915 is the first stop on that. And here's a dollar trade. Uh, you know, I, I really don't think this is, uh, you know, I don't even see any reason that I mean, here's a big POC on a weekly here, um, at around 9624, but I really think 9716 is probably your target on this. And again, you know, this is again, a good, let the market come to you type reason. These weekly inflection points, pretty powerful. And, uh, I don't really see how that report on Friday is going to be anything different considering the trend that's been happening with it, considering, as you know, what happens with the books that get cooked on that particular type of report, but that's what we trade off of. It is what it is. We're throwing out the people who give up on looking for a job. So, yeah, it's kind of like the S it's kind of like the S and P index. You just throw out the folks that aren't doing well and keep piling into the guys who are. Here's the Shanghai. I've really liked this trade from the long side, and I really think, and let's back up a little bit, I really think this thing's going to have a chance to really move north. I like how this thing's setting up. I like how it's hovering above these weekly unfair highs. So that's the situation out of China. Let's take a look at the 30-year. Let's get that teed up here. This is the September contract. And you know, while treasuries have just gotten hammered <laughs> no they haven't this is the third year we're going to we're going to talk about it a little bit more when we come back folks TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den, absolutely free, for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. We were talking about the 30-year when we exited the uh, – before the break um, – and, you know, I just have to laugh. I mean, they're, you know, it's supposedly big news that treasuries have had their worst <clears throat> month since uh, sometime in 2015. Well, that's that's a crazy down month there. That's the 10-year. Let's take a look at the 30-year. I'm being sarcastic here, guys. There's the 30-year. And, uh, wow, wow, what a pullback the last 30 days. Woo, man, right home. Um, so that's, a, you know, that's uh, kind of amazing that that would even be news. All righty. Let's hit a couple of stocks here. Apple. Um, okay, so new profile this past week. We talked about that. We talked about this being support. And that support area is, again, 105.47. You've got a lot of support right here. If we break it, you could have a little bit of a whoosh sound. But, um, again, you know, $14 billion haircut that I guess they're thinking is going to happen. The tax, should I say fraud? No. Out of Ireland, um, where they're domiciled, I guess. But, uh, not you know, not, not actually a, a massive pullback. So... Just basically kind of exploring the fair auction of that 105 and some chains and bouncing off of it, I may add. There's the 105.47, if you guys can see that. And we reached a low in, you know, regular market hours of 105.50. So, eh. Just a healthy pullback if you can call that a pullback. So the financials, talking about the notes and the bonds earlier, the financials, as you know, love that widening yield curve and the hint of, and there's here's a daily on the financials, and a hint of a rate hike is kind of causing everybody to get into a happy dance on the financial scene there. So I haven't been a huge fan of buying the financials. And, you know, 
in all honesty, looking at those treasuries, I know there's a global arbitrage thing going on and a couple other factors, but 34% chance that they might raise rates and the financials are doing a happy dance here. This thing could come down, so watch out for that if, if nothing happens. Utilities expected, you know, kind of polar opposite reaction here, kind of staying around the lows, getting below the weekly and for lows. First time these things have broken down uh, in a good while. Let, let's see. Last time they were doing this was uh, a full year ago before they broke profiles or since they broke profiles in the long term. So kind of expected the thirst for yield, maybe kind of letting the air out of the utilities Kind of could have, could have expected that. Not really the uh, the sector to be in right now. Let's take a look at the uh, healthcare sector, XLV. All right, so here's the here's the weekly. You know, coming down in support on this one, seventy two eighty four. So if you're looking to, you know, the healthcare sector, I, again, a lot of these things are just going to be st almost static until this report comes out. Um, you got some support here. If you're looking to buy some healthcare stocks, Scanner's gonna offer you some things that are kind of, you know, interesting to look at as far as relative strength against this sector pulling back to unfair lows and possibly being able to bounce and then, you know, being able to buy, buy the strong stocks in that sector to increase the odds. The XLE really hanging in there kind of amazingly so um looks like we got a couple of prints this morning 69.39 so still hovering above those weekly unfair highs but again i think oil's probably 44.85 probably in order you're going to see the dollar probably go higher which is not going to bode well for any commodity kind of you know hint of a rate hike the dollar rallying gold's kind of repricing itself a little bit but Going back to gold, I mean, I want to take a serious shot around 1295. Gold seems to always, if you guys trade gold, you know what I'm talking about. Seems to always kind of over over exaggerate itself sometimes. So just be prepared. It's not going to be to the tick a lot of times, especially in a you know big announcement like that. You're going to have a lot of volatility, but that's where I'm trying to base some longs either on the dive down or on the rally back up and past. So, again, I'm using that as kind of a area to pick a battle when it comes to gold. All right, we looked at Apple. We're going to take a look at a couple other stocks here, but I want to, I want to, I want to go ahead and talk about one other thing. It says, you know, the president of, of the country that I'm in right now, the Philippines, Duterte, he gets a lot of flack. I was reading about this. So he's going to meet with Obama, I guess, in Laos, neutral territory. Beautiful country, actually. Um, in Laos next week, and uh, he wants to, Obama to kind of shut his little yapper about the uh, human rights situation and listen to him first, which I kind of agree. Is you know this is a, this is a wild scene here right now because you know people who are in politics, in the police force, and just regular old citizens are turning their self in who have been involved with drugs. And I, I mean, can you imagine when has that ever happened in the U.S.? And literally, it's, I mean, there ain't, there ain't too many people complaining here except the drug dealers. So, interesting times. Let's talk about one other thing. Um, a lot of, you know, when people talk about disruptive technology, that, that's the new buzzword. That, that kind of disruptive equals putting human beings out of, out of work. So they're talking now um, about all kinds of things that, that operate their cells, cars, ships, Helicopters. I saw something on helicopters the other day. That's like, I want to sit in a helicopter that's flying by itself. And that some of these things are going to go brutally wrong. They're going to be outliers for sure. 
But man, I don't I just don't know about this stuff. Got a request in the den, MRO. Paul, I got that up in three seconds flat. Here we go. Uh, okay, so it looks like we're printing this morning about 1542. Marathon oil. You know. Again, you know, I've been talking about oil possibly getting down to 4485, but if you're looking to go long oil stocks, I mean, this is kind of like XLE-ish here, trading above support on the week. And uh, I like this as long. I like being able to play defense below this 50 50 Be right back, folks. trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to tom o'brien's daily market letter market insights tom o'brien's daily newsletter market insights comes out every market day at around 9 30 a.m and provides tom's daily commentary on the broad market including the dow nasdaq and s p plus specific trade recommendations there's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity he'll give you the entry price price target and stop price of each stock and option trade with Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, guys. Thanks for coming back. MRO, we're just kind of finishing up with Marathon Oil. And um, on that note, you know, when we're talking about buying instruments, selling instruments, what's weak, what's strong, I, I, that's just the way I kind of run my book. Um, you know, with all possibly, you know, 4485 on the uh, October contract is. You know, I feel like that's kind of the area that we may get a bounce there. Um, 
it's not the end of the world to try to buy a couple of oil stocks even before it gets there. If it doesn't get there, it's not a lock that it'll get there. But, um, you know, Marathon Oil, uh, somebody asked me about that. We just pulled it up. Looked pretty attractive. Um, what was that? Mar that was Marathon, right? Okay, yeah. So here's here's a chart on it. There's the daily on for high. There's the weekly. Um, you're kind of sitting around, hovering around a nice little area to play defense. Oil may go down. You know, if this thing holds up in the face of it, you might want to, you know, even get a little heavier on something like this because it's kind of, you know, sitting there on the launching pad, in my opinion. But again, you got to put stops in on stuff like this. So um, a couple other ones. You know, Valero, these things are just seas of green here down here at the bottom. Williams, Simorex. Um, so, you know, if you're looking to buy oil stocks, you think oil's going to rally, or if, you, or if you think, you know, it might have a couple more pennies in it on the downside. Um, you know, I'd, and I, I, you know, I like the idea of buying strength right now in this sector, kind of getting prepared. Um And you can find these in this particular scanner. Like if, you know, for instance, if I wanted to find, <laughs> you know, I tell people not to Skype me when I'm doing this show and they still do it. Um, here's, here's one. Let's take a look at EQT Corp. And let's just kind of blow this up a little bit. Yeah, so, so what do we glean out of this one? Um, Again, I, I don't think you have a lot of leverage. I, you could say, oh, wow, okay, we broke down and we're coming back into this inflection point in the weekly and for lows. But um, kind of been doing relatively well lately. Um, so, I, you know, I'm kind of looking at it relative to what oil's been doing lately. And, uh, you know, I'd probably stay away from that. But what I was looking for is let's just put top here and let's look for arrows up and uh, Murphy Oil. Let's take a look at this one. Yeah, I mean, you can't complain about looking at this one from the long side. It's kind of coming into maximum support there, and it's kind of coinciding with this weekly um for high. So, again, I like something like that. Chesapeake, uh, no. Let's see here. Yeah, see, I don't. I'm not a fan of this one. This one's kind of reaching its little apex here right now. And RJP, we're going to look at the uh, Remembi USD cross at, at the. Uh, let, me, let me load that up on the currency side. Occidental Petroleum. Now, this is something that. Let's just take a look at this one. Eh. This might be a little bit of a lid for a while. Schlumberger. Um, this is one we, you know, we kind of talked about that was probably okay to, to start looking at from the long side, you know, back in there, some of the breakouts. Um, if this thing continues to hold up, all slumps over a little bit more. I mean, I like, I like this stock. Nice little technical setup there. So I was, you know, looking at some strong stocks, but looking at stocks that were trying to, you know, use the top of the profile on the weekly to play defense a little bit there. Let me go back into the oil sector for two seconds here. Valero. These are ones that, you know, been outperforming lately. Williams Company. Phew. Man. And this is this these are these powerful setups that I really like. If you can and we talk about this a lot actually, these breakouts above weeklies and these kind of go back and retest these these profile highs. This was a great turnaround situation here on this one. But you know, we kind of had that happen again. You go back and retest. And some of the ones I was I was just actually showing are in that same kind of vein. Um, this one at this stage, 
kind of horses out of the barn already here. Um, the other ones you might be able, uh, and the risk reward is what I always look at when I'm trading. Those other ones are, you know, a li little bit better areas to play defense in case we're wrong. Let's go into currencies really quick. Um, the yen trade. Let me blow this up here. This is the weekly. We kind of reached the initial targets on this. I've been talking about this, uh, you know, this 103, 103 51, 52. We've reached a high of 103 44 now. Um, you know, this trade, I think you got to be taking some weight off here. I mean, the, the, you know, the dollar going higher, this thing may go a little bit higher. But again, it's, you, you've had a nice run off of these weekly unfair lows. And uh, now you've reached some inflection points you got to pay attention to. The British pound. Yeah. I don't think you got a lot of leverage there. Let's take a look at the euro. Obviously, dollar related on the inverse situation here, but, um, you know, what do you do with this now? I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of just the ultra long-term short on this one. I've still got a hedge on personally on this one. Aussie dollar. I still love this from the long side. Um, and again, this is kind of like the yen trade. If you just a little bit of a primer getting into those weekly and for highs, you got to be kind of looking at taking some weight off. And now we're getting back into a situation here where it, it's okay in my mind, to start trying to get your toe in the water again around 74.78 on the Aussie dollar trade from the long side. I'm still just trying to block out the short side on that trade. Canadian dollar, yeah, you know, a little bit of a little bit affected by oil and a little bit affected by the U.S. dollar strength. So again, Canadian dollar goes up here. That means it's getting devalued, and I missed my killer opportunity to. Go up to Canada and buy everything a couple of months ago. We're going to take a look at, uh, let's see, what was the one in the den? USD, CHN. We're going to tee that up, RJP, from the den on the break. And uh, I don't have that in my list, I don't think. So we're going to, we're going to tee that up. And uh, we'll be right back after this next break, folks. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that 
many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Hi guys, welcome back to the show and uh, RJP in the den. I think is this the is this the the cross value that you want to see on the uh, one or remember? Yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Here we go. So <clears throat> this uh, this currency's acted kind of really well with the profiles here. It's long term weeklies. Um. You know, I guess, do I think this is going to go higher? Uh, it's kind of in no man's land on the weekly, and there's really nothing to kind of hang on to here on the daily. So, I, I you know, um, yeah, I'd say long-term stops below 6.6412. But, uh, I mean, with the hint of U.S. rates, God, who knows what's going to happen, but possibly being higher, I, you know, I, I mean, we're just kind of smack dab in the middle of a, of a big balanced area on the weekly. I don't, I don't think you, I'd rather trade things when they, they're kind of coming hard and like gold may come hard into 1295. I would, I would think that would be a really good kind of situation. Um, this is just kind of smack dab in the middle there. All right, let's go back to our, Our stocks here. Disney still like this from the short side. We've been talking about it. I want to look at McDonald's here really quick. Been following these two. I really like these stocks to go lower. There's not a lot of stocks that are in this situation on the s and right now. In fact, when we go into the, uh, the S&Ps, um, that's the uh, XLE breath. Hold on, let's get back to the S&Ps. Um, you know, short terms have kind of rolled over, but again, you you know, a lot of the stocks in the S&P are still, you know, no fear. Um, quarter point rate hike might be a big deal to some situations like Steve Banger was kind of referring to as far as adjustments of over leveraged situations, 20, 30 to one type positions, but, uh, not that big of a deal. Home Depot. I like this stock from the long side, actually 132.85 is support on this on the weekly, I was kind of looking at this. I mean, you know, every time this stock is pulled back to some some support, it's just, you know, buy it, buy it, buy it. You've got a profile that it's that's edged higher. Looks like it's kind of waiting, waiting, waiting patiently. Could get a nice pop in Home Depot. Netflix.
I'm not a huge fan of this one. Um, even though we're trading above these profiles up here, I think you've just got to look at this below 96.18 as a short again. And let's go into the scanner. Let's take a look at some anomalies that may be happening here in the financials. As you can see, it's top of the heap ranked by aggregate breadth profiles here. Um, some of the financials to look at that, you know, without question are not really participating here right now. Um, AVB. This is one just kind of sitting on the cliff down here, not paying attention to the rate situation at all. A couple other ones that have been, let's see here, CB, CBG. Um, some of these stocks just can't seem to, you know, to get, uh, this is a nice looking situation here. 30-23, uh, playing defense against this one on the short side, CBG. Uh, looking around, just kind of gazing through some of the financial stocks. Kimco Realty. Let's get this up here. Let me see where that on for high is. 31.34. Not one to buy, put it that way. I hope these guys are not watching this show, the, the ICE. Um, you know, they bought eSignal. And God, we own a lot of money. Um, this is... This is one, you know, you might be saying, hey, well, God, we got a new profile. We got these unfair highs. This one, you know, not not one to be shorting. Not one to be shorting. T. Rowe Price. Uh, this has been one that hadn't been able to get out of its own way. Um, I know it's poked its head above the daily unfair highs. I wouldn't, I wouldn't look at this as a breakout at all. I look at this as, as a chance to get short this thing again at 71.72. This is Wells Fargo. Uh, you know, not really outperforming recent highs on this stock, and I know we've kind of blown a gasket on the upside on this one lately, but you're just getting into weekly resistance here, 50.36. Um, should you be short in financials right now? Probably not, um, <clears throat> but if we don't if we don't get a good report on Friday, uh, this is one I'd start looking at to try to short below fifty thirty six as far as Wells Fargo goes. As opposed to stocks like this, Morgan Stanley. Good Lord, yeah, you you don't want to play around with this one. There's nothing to lean against to play defense on that particular scene. Let's take a look at IBM really quick. There's not a week that goes by that I don't get an email about this stock, by the way. Um, here's the, you know, the, the big time support on this particular stock, 155.97. We're not there. Um, this thing really, really turned around when we broke above these weekly profiles for the first time in a long time, went retested, and then we've just kind of been trailing up, finding support. There's the Brexit situation, um, really rallied hard, showing itself as a stock that wanted to be bought. But again, you know, you've got you got a chance here on support, 155.97 on IBM. We're just not there yet. UTX. You know, again, you know, before Friday, a lot of these stocks are just going to kind of flail around a little bit. But uh, I like this stock from the long side. I like it going past 109.83, actually. Lockheed Martin. We're going to talk about this a little bit when we come back, folks. This one has really had the spine broken. 
below 249.06, and we're going to try to figure out how to play this one. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Larry Pesavento, a 40-year veteran trader. He uses pattern recognition, Gartley's, Butterflies, ABC's, and Fibonacci in order to trade these markets. Trade what you see, next on TFNN. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. I've got the scanner up right now, and, you know, just to, to make a point, not to make your life too difficult you know we've we've talked about you know as this market's gone up i'm just going to go to sorting below profiles weekly sorting below profiles daily you got a lot of candidates here that are just really ultra weak and we've talked about some of them i was looking at lockheed martin on the chart a while ago and just going you know i i really would have liked to have talked about this real time when this thing really started getting crushed below this 250 area um but what can happen in the scanner is you'll get these candidates real time um, when that starts happening. And you can basically, you know, work this thing a lot of different ways. But if I went in here and I said, okay, I want to see things that are breaking down the weekly immediately. All right. So it's going to resort these things. It's going to put that one in your face, give you some hints when it starts breaking initially showing bottom. Um, and these are, you know, coach, CVS Corp, 8, Helmer and Pine, Pine, did I say Pine, Payne, Eli Lilly. I mean, these are all things that are just starting to 
get hit here below the but I mean you know it's still within the noise area you can look at this as support actually but what I wanted to do here was just show you and let me resort that yeah here we go so a couple of stocks that we had been watching in this scene uh, where is it at Gilead Sciences there we go G-I-L-D you know we've been talking about this one staying away from it at least blocking out the long side is the gift that keeps on giving folks these weak stocks market pulls back a lot of times they'll just nobody wanted to own them when the market was going up if you think they want didn't want to own them when the market was going up they definitely want to, don't want to own them it's late at night here and I'm starting to stutter they definitely don't want to own them when the market pulls back just a smidge a couple other good ones on here we've talked about um, fossil. Let me pull this one up. A company that's probably going bankrupt. Here's the daily. And uh, here's the weekly. And these are the real cool setups that I love is when we're kind of trading below profiles and then we go back up and rally and touch them and you've let the market come to you and some people would back the truck up there. That's okay as long as you put your stops. And then you get the proverbial sell-off from resistance. So the scanner really puts some things on my radar screen. I can kind of monitor, go back to. I fly around the show sometimes and don't go back and revisit things that we've talked about earlier sometimes or, or previously. Um, Kroger, we've talked about this one. Something's wrong here. Here's the weekly. Here's the daily. Again, sitting on the edge of the cliff and starting to fall off again. So, you know, not to make your life difficult, a lot of times you can find some boring situations on here. Here's Tesla. We've talked about this one. Again, getting into that 233 area uh, and being able to just hit it, you know? Not a bad thing. couple other candidates here uh, waste management breaking down on the weekly going back and retesting that bottom starting to sell off again put some really nice things on the radar screen for you guys stay tuned for Blair really enjoy it.